we have Avalon here, who's not really paying attention. <laughs> and I haven't had her tacked up since, I want to say, last August or September. Haven't done anything with her. But my boyfriend is quite tall and wants to learn how to ride. And so I figured... Shh, 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 go. Thank you. So I figured the best way for him to learn how to ride, uh, we would start at the walk in the round pen with Avalon. Because... She's kind of hard to get going, but she's also very hard to stop when she's going past the trot. And get out. No. Avalon. Thank you. I wanted to pay attention. <laughs> Go. I just wanted her further out. Anyways, so he and I planned on this summer, we are going to put him in the round pin here. And either I'll be ponying him off Kamani with Avalon. Or I'll be on the ground leading him for the first few rides because he's not horsey at all. <laughs> and he'll learn the basics with her. He'll learn walk, stop, back, flex, emergency brake, go. And all that basic stuff in here on her. And then when he's ready to move up to trot and canter, we'll put him on Kamani because she's got way better brakes. So since she hasn't been worked with in a while, I'm just kind of sending her out around here. And letting her get used to that saddle again, because I don't like that. Hey. Hey. She wants to cut into the circle like that. I don't want that. So I'm just going to make her change a couple times. Pay attention. Calm down a little bit. I'll hop on and ride her around at the walk. Just going to work on basics. No, I'm going to send her out of the canner. Okay, so again, she's had time off, so I'm going to just go through a couple steps and make sure she's okay. So we're going to sway both sides of the saddle, the stirrups, and we're going to flex both sides, but I did cut that just to make this video a little bit shorter. And then we're just going to hop on and kind of hang over for a second like you would a third or fourth ride. And she did really well with that, so that was fine. Figure she would, but just kind of setting her up for success. And then we did a little bit of flexing, which I was surprised she was stopped at. And you'll see here why, why I say that. So she knows this cue as backup. She's always responded to it. So right there, she just kind of takes her head and is yanking the bit against my hands when I'm holding lightly. But she did take a step and kind of release that bit a little bit. So I decided to release on that first step. And then again here, she did way better. So love this here. I'm asking her to flex downward and very responsive. So all in all, her ride was about eight minutes long. And the reason I kept it short is one, I was trying to beat the brain so I could also ride Kamani. And two, I'm gonna kinda go back to basic basics with her. Um, meaning I'm gonna do as little trot and canter as I can for a while. And we're just gonna go back to halting, flexing laterally and vertically backing and moving off a little bit less leg. I normally have to squeeze and I like it to where, uh, like Kamani, I can just barely touch that heel, don't even have to kick, don't have to squeeze, and Kamani goes. And I really, really like that. So we pretty much just walked around. We did do a little bit of leg yielding here and there. Uh, I will show that. We did lots of stopping and flexing, just getting her focus on me and doing basics and going back to the slow work, which I think she really needs. And we're going to see where those holes in that foundation are. Here's another ask for backup. And I like to kind of shake my legs as a cue. I don't know. It's just what I like to do. But I love, love how arced her neck was and how soft she was. Here's a hind quarter yield. And she's still kind of at the stage where I have to have her head in for her to understand what I'm asking. That's fine. And... I couldn't feel that she didn't move her front end at first because it's a little slick. So that was my bad right there. So I kind of kept asking. Um, again, right there, she did it. She didn't move at all, and I stopped and rewarded. Sometimes it's kind of hard to feel when it's slick and they're kind of stepping to catch themselves. It's kind of hard to tell whether they're moving their front end or not. So I just worked on it here a little bit. You can see she's stepping all over the place, fighting me a little bit, and I just continue to ask. And right there I went to reward and she stepped forward. So I asked again just to try to end with her standing still. That was perfect. Asking here for their four quarters to move and I love that. 
That was great. So we're going to end her ride with uh, just some turns and I'm doing a little bit of neck reining to see if she remembers and she needs a little bit of help with my leg too but she understood that. So then we walk over here and we're going to turn one more time. She was so good. I think going back to basics is going to help her a lot. So we turn here. Not as much leg needed. And that was the end of her ride but we're not done yet. Update on Kamani while Avalon's standing tied. So Avalon's going to stand tied until I'm completely done with everything. So Avalon's probably going to get like an hour on the patience pull. And then when I get done with Kamani's ride, um, as you guys can see the Clinton Anderson tie ring. That's what she's tied to because for whatever reason last summer she spooked at the arena that I ride at and nobody else was there. And she freaked out, pulled back, and since then she's pulled back and acted like a horse has never been tied or trained <laughs> so she's tied to that for safety purposes so when we get back from our ride i'm going to clip that to my round pin chain and uh avalon is in the pasture with the gate locked so if she happens to get loose she's still in a confined area same thing with her when she goes in the round pin when i go to move hay when we get back if she happens to get loose, she'll be in the round pin in a safe spot her plans for this summer this is why i'm riding her out on the road and walk chat and cantering her is she is going to go back and do the play dates so um if my boyfriend wants to if he's comfortable on avalon by then he can ride avalon around the play days and kamani can compete but he can still ride avalon without having to compete so when we get back she's going to get about a half hour of tying they've been doing really good uh they are free feeding again this winter so uh if anybody happens to know what this is would you let me know I got brown horses my whole life, but I've never seen this. So it's just a nose piece and a head piece, but it has nothing else to connect to. So grandma told me to try it. I'm trying it. I'm just not sure what the heck it's for. But really cool thing about this little Mustang. Trailer stuff here. I don't have any whips or anything in my hand. I got my phone and my reins. So I'm just going to hold this phone with this hand and I'm going to climb up the step and the minute that I do I don't even have to cue her she parks right here you do need to put your reins on you come here so I can put your reins <laughs> really really love that I taught her that because she gets really close because I have bad knees actually so does my boyfriend so that'll be helpful so as we're leaving on our ride excuse me Trying to beat the rain, so I am speaking a little quickly. Avalon is tied in the pasture to the patient's pool. So we went a few laps. Turns out she had a rock in her hoof. That's why the last clip you've seen of her, she was kind of bobbing her head and limping a little bit. I don't know why I didn't think to pick out her hooves. I think it's because I'm trying to beat the rain. It's supposed to rain all day. To... But I like that Avalon has settled down. She's got her leg cocked. She's being nice and quiet. That's really good because when I'm competing her this summer, if my boyfriend doesn't want to ride Avalon at the arena, then that's what Avalon's going to be doing. Avalon needs a lot of tie practice, so does Kamani. And so, if Avalon's not being ridden, uh, then that's what she'll be doing. She'll be standing tied at the trailer while my boyfriend and I are over at the gates and the corrals with Kamani. Alright, so she's tied up and I have it just clipped to this chain. Instead of clipping it to the actual chain that holds the rump in together. Now, I was going to do her out of sight, like somewhere over there, but the ponies are over there and they like to play with the lead rope. So, I don't want them tugging on her when I want her to learn to be relaxed all tying again, which, love that already. And it's been a while since I've actually done something with them when I was done riding. Sometimes I'll back them all the way to the pasture and then put them up. Sometimes I'll just turn them straight loose. So, them having to stand tied where they can see each other and hear each other, but they can't be right beside each other is still good for them. But I'm going to go move hay because it's going to start raining soon. And when I'm done moving hay, they'll be turned loose. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And now you guys know what my plans are for these two for the summer.